Price is what you pay. Cost is what you give up. My name is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. My main thing is helping you as a side hustler, a solopreneur, otherwise a non-traditional entrepreneur. Today we're going to talk about price versus cost. Now you might be saying, Damon, the exact same thing. Whatever I pay for something, that's how much it costs. Actually not true. It was pointed out a while ago to me by uh, Seth Godin, as well as by um, Gay Hendricks, and a few other folks that talked about what we pay for something versus what it costs us. It's really important to understand the distinction as you make business decisions, if you uh, lead a household like I do, if you're even committing your time to something and think that it's relatively cheap, it actually might be costing you a lot more than you think. So we're gonna get into that today with three ways you can understand price versus cost. It's the Bring Your Show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Vegas time. If you're into this kind of stuff as far as helping you with side hustle or entrepreneur, be sure to subscribe. I'm about 250 episodes in, been doing it for a couple years now. Thank you for all the love and support, as well as for the new book, Career Remix, get the gig you want based on the skills you got. All right, let's get into it. Price versus cost. Price is what you pay, cost is what you give up. Price is what you pay, cost is what you give up. What are you sacrificing to get this particular goal done? What are you willing to give up to say no to? To have this one thing and it goes well beyond money. There's three ways you can look at it. The first thing and the easiest way to break this down is to think about those things you can't recoup. I talk about this in my book Build From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance and Nourish the World. It came out a couple years ago. Thanks for all the love and support. We talk about the fates, focus, agility, time and energy. These are resources that we all have but they're all in relatively limited quantities. Some eight parts of our lives we have more, some parts of our lives or times in our lives we have less. That's kind of the way it works. If you want to learn more about your own resources, you can take a free quiz at buildfromnowquiz.com. The link is below. When you're working with these resources, it's important to understand those things that you can't recoup. When I was thinking about this, I was thinking about my late grandmother, rest in peace, she's actually above me. Metaphorically, but she's also in the picture right above my head. What, when I would go visit her, my mother and I would go visit her on the East Coast where I'm originally from in Jersey, she would have us drive around to where the biggest discounts were. Particularly, I remember specifically with batteries. She was really into batteries because she liked electronics and stuff like that, like for her old school radio. And she'd go and have us take her to these places that had super cheap batteries. Like before they were dollar stores, right? They're prevalent now. The batteries would be, you know, 10 for a dollar, that kind of thing. And the batteries would last about a week, <laughs> maybe two weeks, something like that. And then she'd be complaining on the phone that the batteries don't work anymore, but she got a great deal. The price was cheap. The cost was peace of mind that the stuff wouldn't work after a little while. Not to mention the cost and the time and the mental space it required to figure out where the best deals were at this store at that store and have to map it out and figure out exactly where we're gonna go to get her all these batteries. We make those assumptions and those shifts all the time. I'm a business coach. I negotiate folks through this. I negotiate myself through this all the time. We think that because something is cheaper, it is therefore better and there's more we can do with our money, our time, our resources. Again, the fates I was talking about. But what kind of mental shape does that put us in? The second thing when you're thinking about price versus cost is to remember your worth. This actually goes back to Gay Hendricks. He has a great book called The Big Leap where he talks about this. He talks about you being in your zone of genius versus your zone of competence. Your zone of competence are things that you can do with your eyes closed. Your zone of genius is the shit that you're really good at. He gives this great example that I cite in, in uh, some of my earlier business books as far as an executive that ended up spending a whole day, like a whole Saturday, trying to get his printer to work. He ended up getting frustrated. He grabbed a kid down the street that he knew, a neighborhood kid, and paid the kid a hundred bucks to go and fix it. The kid fixed it in, I wanna say 10, 15 minutes, done, right? I used to be one of those kids. My kids are becoming those kids as I get older. That's just how it works. It's usually a kid in the neighborhood, you know, that's working on the tech. The point that Gay was getting at was that this executive made, I want to say about $500, $600 an hour, an hour. He spent the whole Saturday, his day of rest, trying to fix this printer. 
I think he spent about 10 hours doing it, if I remember correctly. So do the math on that. What's that, $5,000? He paid a kid 100 bucks. You know, I love the side hustles. He's giving this kid a side hustle. That $100 is a lot to a 17 year old. And he was able to go ahead and maximize his stuff. You have to remember your worth. Are your resources better served somewhere else? If you're paying less for something, but that cost ends up costing you way more financially or otherwise, it might not be worth it. It doesn't make any sense for me to always do the dishes, always cut my lawn, always do these particular details, if I can actually accomplish more by sharing that with people who are experienced at that. Again, adding to the side hustle economy and also maximizing my time, my focus, my agility, my time, my energy, back to the idea of the fates that I talk about and build from now. Lastly, number three, this is what always gets us when it comes to price versus cost. You have to check your headspace. Where is your head at? Where, where are you? Are you stressed out about this? If paying a little bit more or hunting for a deal so you can save literally a couple pennies. If that's stressing you out, the cost of that is way more. In most of our cases, I've been broke before, so there's no judgment on, on any of y'all. But if you're in that position and you have the opportunity to actually pay more, then it's actually worthwhile and it makes sense. I remember I was traveling uh, after the uh, the sheltering in place started to lift last year. And it was a travel situation. I usually don't get stressed with travel, but I was super stressed about it. Just because there was some dynamics going on, it was not a comfortable situation. And I could alleviate the stress about it by just getting another hotel room. Easy. I sat with that for a week, two weeks. And finally, I was like, you know what? Wait a second. I can get another hotel room. It was gonna cost me about $100, $150. Something that I could afford at the time. And I did it and suddenly everything opened up. The price was 100, let's say $150. The cost of not doing that though, was my piece. <laughs> As they say nowadays, I am reclaiming my time and I am protecting my peace. That $150 that I spent was some of the best money I spent last year. Because suddenly I have peace of mind. How much stress, how many business opportunity, how much peace of mind did I lose in waiting that week, two weeks, debating about the situation that wasn't really a situation because it was actually resolvable. It was easily resolved with me paying a higher price and I wouldn't have to pay the cost of not doing that. And we face this every single day when we make business decisions, we decide not decide to invest in ourselves when we take the hours or the time or sometimes the sacrifice required to get to the next level. The price might be you doing a few late nights. The price might be you side hustling for a little while. The price might be you having to deal with a job a little bit longer than you want to. But the cost of not doing that, that's, as I always tell my coaching clients, what you're doing, will it work? one year, three years, five years into the future, with the path that you're on, are you going to be in a better place? Are you gonna be in a place where you're happier? Are you going to be in a place where you'll be making a better impact in the world? If that's not the case, then you need to change your strategy. I did a recent video on plan versus strategy. I'll put the link up here, up here. I'll put the link somewhere up here. You know I always get mixed up with each side. Check that one out because plans make sense when it comes to price. You can save a quick buck right now. Strategy makes sense when it comes to cost. If I do not invest in myself, in my business, in my improvement, in making the world better right now, how will that jack up my strategy in the future? But if you have a strategy, you won't see that. And if you're busy making plans, you'll just be focused on the price. And that is too much of a price to pay. This is a Bring Your Worst show coming to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Vegas time. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to subscribe. The button's over here. I'm not even going to try to point to it because <laughs> my, my camera mirrors everything, so I'm not going to get embarrassed this, this time. <laughs> but thank you for all your support. And again, the new book is Career Remix. Get the gig you want based on the skills you got. Thanks for all the love and support. It's available everywhere. 
If you want to sign cop copies, come over to DameBrown.net. You can also learn more about my coaching practice. And again, subscribe if you want to catch the 250 or so episodes that we got going on. And the train's still going. So thanks for all the love. Until next time, remember you can bring your worth and that you can always build from now. Take care.